White farmers still being kicked out of Zim farms. White farmers in Masvingo continue to face eviction despite moves by President Emerson and Gagwa to return some of their land, as part of efforts to revive the ailing agricultural sector which used to be the backbone of the economy. Recently, four out of 17 farmers resettled in 1989 in Papa Nguyen at Syandra Triangle Limited, now Tongat Hewlett, program, received letters of eviction. They were ordered to wind off business at their 50 hectare farms by the end of this month. The four had already written to the former Lands and Rural Resettlement Minister Douglas Mombshura, contesting their evictions before change of government last month. According to eviction letters gleaned by Newsday Weekender dated October 16 and signed by Boaz Vrayi the district lands officer from Wenitsai, Shane Worth is being ordered to wind off farming activities on Lot 12 of Lot 15 of NRA by December 31 to make way for solicitor Mutendi. The letters stated that the farms were gazetted in 2017 for compulsory acquisition by the Lands and Rural Resettlement Ministry on behalf of the government of Zimbabwe and were now state land. Contacted for comment, Vrayi referred questions to the provincial lands officer. You can contact the provincial office, my friend. I am not allowed to talk to the press, he said. Lands and Rural Resettlement Deputy Minister Davis Marapira said if it was done by the previous government, there was nothing they could do. I think it was done by the previous government, but we will need time to get into the details. If it was done by the former minister, there isn't much we can do. The farmers have to abide by the decision taken by the government at that time, he said. When quizzed if this was not in contradiction with the policies of the new government, Maripira said the decision was final. Land already allocated will not be reversed unless the current government feels it was wrongly done. If it was done properly, following all the necessary procedures then we call it a done deal, he added. The late Carl Bradfield's widow Anne, of Lot 19 of Lot 16 NRA also got her letter of eviction on July 4. Bradfield, who was a cattle rancher and a professional hunter was trampled to death by an elephant leaving his wife running the farm with the assistance of her farm manager Altaf Willem Bota. Unfortunately, Bota was later struck and killed by a farm worker, who is believed to have stolen a substantial amount of money from him and skipped the country to neighboring South Africa, forcing Anne to lease the farm to Madibel and Beef. Dave Doig, a South African national, also benefited from the program and was leasing the farm to Josh Munyanga, an employee at Triangle Limited. Mike Horsley, who is married to a German national, also received eviction letters, but they are said to be covered by the Bilateral Investment Promotion and Protection Agreement BIPA, so the eviction has been put on hold. Agreements under BIPA require the government to pay fair compensation in the currency of the farm owner's choice for both land and improvements. Countries that signed the agreement with Zimbabwe include Denmark, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy, Malaysia, Switzerland, and South Africa. However, in 2014 in a similar case to that of Doig and Horsley, Love M. Ormakinununu approached the Constitutional Court, Concord, contesting a High Court judgment ordering his eviction from Frogmore Farm in Mverwi by a German national, despite having an offer letter under the Land Reform Program and Chief Justice Luke Malabo, sitting with Justice Paddington Garu and Justice Antonio Guava confirmed the acquisition without any compensation. According to Worth, who worked for Triangle as an artisan specializing in refrigeration for 17 years, the scheme was meant for Triangle employees who worked for the company for more than 10 years and were below the age of 50. We were made to pay an initial down payment of $8,000 and the rest was supposed to be paid in 15 years. We paid a total of $350,000 for the farms which have between 40 and 50 hectares. The program, which was officially launched by the former President Robert Mugabe was carried out in two phases and the first had only nine farmers. The second one had eight other farmers, and out of the 17 resettled farmers, only four were white. Worth said. What is mind-boggling is that others are being protected by BIPA, but I was born at Masvingo General Hospital in 1957 and I have a Zimbabwean citizenship. 
I feel I should enjoy the benefits of the country like any other Zimbabwean, but I am treated as an outcast with no protection. I mean I am being persecuted like the Jews during the Second World War. Worth added, we resettled like any other Zimbabwean and Robert Mugabe the former president officiated at the ceremony, but now I am told to move out of the farm. Where do I go now? This is where I call my home and I invested everything in it. So recently I bought a transformer in South Africa for $10,000 before I installed the center pivot at a cost of $140,000. Worth is going to lose all his farming equipment, vehicles, a three-bedroomed house including the newly acquired center pivot and the one-hectare banana plantation, while Bradfield is also set to lose his farming equipment and an 11-roomed house.